Hey folks, I recently bought this new motherboard from Asus. It's uh, the new Extreme Edition in-core. So um, it uh, looks like a, like all other motherboards from the with exception has uh, more power power faces right here. Like so, instead of like uh, previous fifth edition, it has like eight. This one has sixteen, and it also came with as you can see on this right corner of the motherboard, it has actual uh, three power connectors to it two 8 pins and one 6 pins and I have no idea why there is a tree and where they use what the last turret use because the regular motherboards like the one right here it's a fifth edition uh, it's actually has um, you may notice over there there is a, like one 6 pin and one 4 pin for the CPU and for the I think the other one for RAM or VRM I think that that's the for VRM connection and for CPU so same logistics must be applied here one for the CPU and one one for the CPU one for for the VRM what that one for have no idea even the manual what I found some information in the manual and the manual says right that's the uh, a section uh, EATX 12v the third one and what does it says in instruction do not connect the 6 pin power plug only the motherboard may overheat so ensure to connect the 8 pin or connect both 8 pin and 6 pin power plugs so what are they for for more power juicy graphic cards or there is no specification like why we need it and the, the, the problem is the new power power supply that I bought from K Carsair 600 watt it's AX um, has this uh, plugins which is I mean the power cords and this is exactly the EPS that this is you have to use that they only will accept the connection for those ports because it has specifically designed it for the power connection it only came with two so you have one 8 pin and the other one is 8 pin as well so I don't want to have the 6 pin connection which mentioned in the um, in, in actual uh, manual that you may need to connect that as well just to but the actual P C PSU like the power supplies doesn't have that one so what I did I did order it uh, one custom not actually I, I did order all custom sleeve cables from the company and I tell them hey I needed like a three um, three EPS EPS cables for the power connection and say hey I had there is no good have no problem to make it one for you because you cannot connect PCI Express cables. They're only designed for the, the, the actual. The ports are different. They, you will you won't be able to click them together like, because they will not accept. And even if you force them, you will literally burn your your motherboard. And not recommend that to do it. That's what I've been suggested in other videos from YouTube. So yeah, that's the kind. Of, I'm ready to rebuild my rig. Um, I'm will be pairing with the new Extreme Edition i9. That's I just got it from HB Photo Video Store. It was actually on the coming soon, but somehow they ship it directly from the manufacturer. This is the 10 980X uh, XE, I'm sorry, and it's an 18 core uh, processor. So, yeah, it looks like uh, they ship it directly from I guess from Microsoft. <laughs> I've got it somehow, and we'll be paired also with one of the Titans uh, RTX which is the new one so we'll see how they'll perform i have a bunch of ramps as well from Carsair, some other stuff but i will i will show it in another video but this only considered to be um, that particular port and this is what we're gonna replace it when i replace my previous rig which is um, everything powered by still that um, chiller um, with an exhaust fan again this is already installed just a quick overview of that everything exhausted outside through the attic works perfectly no heat anymore no problem with exception to the noise but noise you can leave with that and we will build everything in through this invin case invin case it's a 925 version you can find their official website and it's a very nice solid uh four millimeters aluminum like one piece around it's actually not a one piece like the advertised it's actually going to be ending right here it's cut but it's fine and everything else it's uh, it's a steel you know inside so it's a very heavy duty um, case so hopefully um, we're gonna build it very soon you know with all the components and 
I'll make another video like once everything's set up so we can see the temperature running. We may not gonna use this chiller. Am um, I gonna use this? Is the 450 version from Collins, but instead I'm gonna use 800 version, the one that I have it before, which is a knock it down for because you know this one was smaller um, for some time, it's uh, more convenient. But this one produced more noise than the other one because the compressor is too small, so the compressor must turn on all, almost uh, all time. It's on and you know, all, like as you can hear right now, it's like uh, making a little sound and you know, all, like it's not a fan actually. So the 800 version is actually compressor turns on every like 30 seconds. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So every half and half. But this one's it's always on because it's so small and it dissip dissipates the heat from my 8 core processor over here. It's very it's 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 old already. So it, it must be replaced. And we're gonna run it, yeah, with the 18 core processor, 36, 36 threads, and see um, how the temperatures will be running these machines. Um, hopefully, we'll do it this month because I'm still waiting for the um, actual cooler, another cooler CPU block, CPU and motherboard block from B Bits Power. They're still designing these blocks, and in um, from their reps, they told me it will be ready by the end of January, so they will be ready to ship it by the end of this month. And hopefully, once they they put the price mark on it, as they mentioned, they will be ready to ship. And once again, in f starting February, beginning of February, we're gonna start to build this in. Yep. Uh, again, if anyone has any comments or concerns regarding the third port, what this for, and why do we need it, what it's actually dedicated for, uh, we much appreciate it and helpful, you know, before we start build it. But yeah, that's everything. Um, yep, that's all the stuff. We're gonna use it on it. And thanks for watching.